I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 9 in my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. These are metal lift surface swimmers. Some people call them Danny plugs. Uh, the top one is a Tsunami, and the other two are made by Gibbs. The middle is a Gibbs Pro series. Before doing some fishing, I want to uh, give you a look at how these plugs swim in the water. And uh, you can see it's quite enticing. This is the smaller Gibbs that was in the picture. This is a four and a half inch plug, ounce and a half. Um, it usually comes with a single hook in the back. In this case, I've replaced that with a treble. I just like the action, uh, the way it's laid out here. And you can see it looks really nice. It's a fairly decent casting plug for a metal lift swimmer as well. Uh, this one is a tsunami, and if you recall the picture at the beginning, there were those two yellow plugs. This is a six inch, two and a half ounce. Uh, the other plug in the picture was a six inch, it's two and a quarter ounce Gibbs. Both of these are excellent plugs. Um, the Tsunami in particular, this one's got just absolutely deadly action on it. Um, yeah, like I said, both Gibbs and the Tsunamis are good. The Tsunami's going to be about $6 less than the Gibbs plug, somewhere in that, in that area. And the hardware is every bit as good as on the um, Gibbs Pro Series lures. Okay, we've got uh, some water movement left to right, really not too much current, surface fairly calm. Metal lip swimmers do just fine in calm water, and they also do okay in, uh, in, in light to moderate current. Uh, one thing they don't do really well is uh, cast uh, very far. Uh, I would think these are just about the worst casting lures I've got in the bag, but in this case I know that the fish that are around are fairly close to the beach. I'm not too worried about distance. The exact name of that tsunami plug is a tsunami timber flat nose swimmer. Uh, it's not an easy one to remember. The Gibbs is a Danny surface swimmer. Okay, you can see the conditions I've got here. Uh, pretty bright sunshine, relatively calm surf. You're not going to see any big bass in this video, but uh, just good enough to get the point across on, on how to swim the plugs. Throughout this video, I'm going to try to give you a decent look at the retrieve speed. And one thing hopefully you'll, you'll get to notice is that it's somewhat variable. Um, you know, if I've got a wave pushing the plug, and this goes for a lot of lures, and you want to make contact with that lure and keep contact with it. And if there's a wave pushing the plug, uh, you know, I'm going to speed that retrieve up a little bit. And if uh, I'm pulling it into a receding wave or against current, I'm going to slow it down. And, and as I've said before, it's really not a matter of the speed of the plug over the bottom as much as it is the speed of the plug in relation to the water around it. Another feature of the metal lips is you can alter their swimming depth a little bit. If I need that plug to dig a little bit under the surface or um, you know want it up on top, there's ways that you can alter the, the depth. And that's by taking the pliers and just giving a little bend to the front eye of the plug. And that's where you attach your snapper or you tie your line uh, and it's it's the opposite of what you want to do if you want to plug to swim a little bit higher bend the eye down a little bit if you want the plug to swim deeper bend the eye up a little bit what you never ever want to do is bend the metal lip because you know, they make that a special way and if you mess that up uh, you, know, you can alter the action of the plug and really mess up the plug but um, there's uh, no harm in messing around with the eye angle and, uh, you know, try a few different things. Make a couple tweaks, observe the plug in the water, and uh, see what works best. The predominant bait here is peanut bunker, roughly four to five inches. Uh, in some areas, they're also called Manhaden or pogies. Uh, there's also a few larger bunker around. And this bait has been running fairly close to the beach, and so that's where the stripers have been. So uh, the metal lip swimmer was a good choice. These are good plugs when the fish are on those baits, and as long as you can reach the fish with a metal lip, uh, metal lip's a pretty good choice. 
All right, I've moved down the beach a little bit, get some pretty interesting structure here. And uh, the tide is way out, so it's it's very shallow, and that's where the metal lip does great. Uh, you know, it's a good shallow water plug. I happened to notice that there was some bait in this pocket uh, formed by the sandbar and the beach, and I figured this was a good place to swim that metal lip a few times and see what was in there, and sure enough, there were some fish. Something metal lips are good for, especially the this six inch one that I'm using here, is as a culling tool many times throughout the years in situations, uh, especially with big schools of peanut bunker and mixed size schools of fish where you've got smallish blue fish, a lot of schooly bass, but then you've got a couple of nicer fish, uh, 10, 15, 25 pounds mixed in. Uh, the metal lip does a good job of pulling those larger fish out from schools of predominantly smaller ones. So it's something I often have in the bag and will go to it if I'm in a situation where if, you know you throw in a bucktail and every fish ends up being 16, 18 inches, but you know there's some better fish there. A lot of times the way to get those better fish is to go to a larger plug such as the metal lip swimmer. Another good time to throw metal lips is when the fish are on larger baits. Uh, if they're on adult bunker, the yellow plug that I'm using is a really good choice. If they're feeding on herring, then I'll probably be using this plug but in blue, just because blue is often a good choice when the fish are feeding on herring. This rod is the 9 foot medium action custom lamic glass graphite that I use in many of my striped bass videos. The reel is a Pen 6500 SSV Bayless. The line is 30 pound test spider wire stealth braid. At the end of the braid I have about a 3 foot liter 50 pound test fluorocarbon. The connection between the braid and the leader is with a Tsunami Centro swivel. And at the end of the leader I have a tactical angler's clip to attach the lure. Okay, a different day here and a different plug. Uh, this is actually, I think this is late September, and we've got some mullet running along the beach. And when the mullet are doing that, they're often very close to the shore and the bass are right near the beach. Metal lips are great choices. In particular, this four and a half inch Gibbs is a very good choice. And usually with the mullet run, I'd be throwing blue. For whatever reason, I, I put a white plug on and they were hitting it very well, so I stayed with it. Uh, you'll see I've dropped that rod angle really low because I'm concentrating on right there, right at the beach lip. It's so common that the, when they're feeding on mullet that they're right close like that. And you've got to work that plug all the way to the beach. And to do that properly, it helps to drop that rod angle down, keep that plug swimming right up to the beach and uh, that fish was close. I mentioned that metal lips do a good job of culling larger fish out of schools of predominantly smaller ones. Another thing that a metal lip can do is uh, cull striped bass out of places that have mostly bluefish around and that was the situation I had here. Before I put the metal lip on I had a small blue popper on and I just kept getting a lot of these like two to three pound pesky blues but I knew there were stripers there as well. As soon as I switch from the popper to the metal lip, there's lo and behold these bluefish converted to bass. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind that for some reason that slower moving metal lip crawling along the surface of the water, that's more likely to pull the bass than the bluefish and that worked well for me here. And again on this cast you're going to see really close to the shore. This is a time of the year when there's actually a lot more people just walking around on the beach than there are fishing, but uh, certainly there's some fish around, they're just not showing much. Hey guys. Alright. Is there a lot of them out here yet? Or? No, not really. No. Just good with this weather, with the wind. What type of fish? That's a striped bass. 
Yes. No. <laughs> Good question, though. One of the kids asked if that was the same fish I caught on the previous cast. Okay, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.